All right, so let's jump into today. So in, in, in the heart of giving things away, right? Yeah. Like you're giving away this service. Um, we try our best to see like, man, what can we do to give away? Um, in this noisy world, how can brands stand out without spending a ton of marketing? Like what, what would you say um, in that theme as far as without spending a ton of marketing? Yeah, I'd say the, you know, one of the things that we think about with marketing is that it's always a dollar investment, right? We say, oh, I got to have this kind of ad budget for pay-per-click ads or Facebook ads or whatever. But for a, the vast majority of businesses, if you're not, even I would say for the service-based businesses, people who are in knowledge work, but even frankly, product businesses, one of the things you can do is if you don't have money is invest a little bit of time. And the number one thing you can do with your time is go to where your audience is and start answering their questions. Hmm. Right. So that might be on LinkedIn. It could be on Instagram. It could be on Twitter. It could be on Facebook. And it's more than likely going to be on somewhere like a YouTube, but specifically your website. Right. Just simply answer questions because we were talking about this before we started the live. We have never had access to more information, but yet we've never been more uninformed. Right. <laughs> just think about it. I mean, forget politics and current events aside, aside. like just think about trying to fix something in your house, right? The toilet is making a funny noise and you can't Google my toilet's making a funny noise, right? That's not really going to help you. It's like we have access to all this information. But we don't want to get to it. Right. Part of the problem is you have something going on with your toilet and you don't necessarily have to fix it. You're going to go to the internet, right? We had right. a problem. I had a problem a couple of several months ago with, the, with our the sink in our kitchen faucet and I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what's going on. And, uh, and so I went on, I wound up on YouTube and watched a video of like what the problem was like, oh, okay, that makes a ton of sense, right? And it was from a plumbing company. Now they're not based in Atlanta where I live. If right. they were, I probably would use those guys next time because I realized they were smart enough to spend three minutes on a YouTube video explaining a yeah. problem that I have. Right. So think about the problems that people have. And some a lot of people might get stuck here. I mean, you and I are in a content business. We're constantly coming up with this stuff for other people. Right. So I try to think about if I'm a business owner, I would say, what is it? What is the thing you sell? Let's say you're a financial advisor, right? What are questions people have? You could come up with a thousand of what people have about the market, about good investment strategies, planning yeah. strategies, all the legal stuff, tax avoid or not tax avoidance. That's a bad thing. Reduced <laughs> tax liability is the right. word we use with financial advisors because <laughs> tax avoidance sounds like Al Capone. Um, uh. But see, it's like think about the specific questions and then just answer those questions. Right. Some people may say that you should charge people for your knowledge and expertise and you will charge them when they come to you and ask you to do it for them. Right. Because most of the time you can give away everything you know and do. But at the end of the day, people are still going to come to you and say, can you just do it for them? Because they're going to they want your expertise that they could never get in a video or a blog series. They're going to want you to just do it and take that responsibility off their plate. Right. So uh, the biggest thing you do is just start answering questions and giving value. Right. My theory is if you give away value, you'll always be valuable. Right. And if you're valuable, that means there's always a price tag that's going to come with it. Right. You right. May not have, you're not going to be 100 percent with the people who you give stuff away to who then you hire you. Even if you're 20 percent, 15 percent, you can build a pretty good business that way. 